This is how to add an interactive browser to your OBS, but just a quick overview first. Whatever shows in your screen here, you can get to show in any program that will recognize a video camera. You got to have virtual cam installed. I'll just go to tools, virtual cam, and I have it set to auto start. If it's not set to auto start, you will start. You would notice the name of the camera here. And then any program that will accept your video camera should recognize that, or most programs will. And let's go to Zoom as an example. Notice instead of selecting my USB camera, I've selected my OBS virtual camera. And right now I have a black screen because my OBS is black. Now a lot of times the option might be if you have like a Google slide presentation, you might select window capture, capture that in the window, but then as you move the slides, you got to jump over to the window. This eliminates having an extra window using the browser. But let's start from the beginning. I'm going to just add a scene over here. I'll call it browser scene 2 since I already have a browser scene. So there's my scene I can jump to over here. And now let's add some sources over here. And now we'll add some sources. I'm going to hit plus. And instead of window capture, I'm going to go to browser. And we could call the browser whatever you want. You could call it Google Slides or something like that. But I'm just going to just use the default name. It defaults to the OBS browser. And what I'm going to put in is my Google Slides browser. Um, browser. I have some Google Slides here. Let's go back and show you how I did the link. I just click share. And I did anyone with the link can view. And I'll copy the link. Let's go back to OBS. I'll paste that link. OK. And then here's my browser. And now once again, you don't have to go back to the browser to interact with it. You can just right click while it's selected here. You can right click on it. Click interact. And now you can interact with the browser. And once again, whatever is showing you in your OBS screen behind your interaction, that's what's going to show through your camera. So let's say I want to go to presentation. And now I could notice I'm interacting. I could jump around between slides. I could use the pointer. And everything. And if I go back to my Zoom window here, you can see that whatever's in my OBS screen is showing for my video.